How's it going, Lisa Bruce? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome to Broken Silence. We had a little bit of cheery fun and moon, and now it is time to get back to our uh, killing game, <laughs> where we back to killing games where we belong. Uh, this is a free game on itch.io. It has two versions. It has a Unity version and a Rempi version, which I believe are slightly different. Uh, we are going to be playing the Unity version. Um, because it has um, puzzles and all that sort of jazz in it, which the Rempo version doesn't, apparently. I'll put links in the description for both so you can go check it out. Thank you so much to Questline for putting this one out to me. Uh, because as soon as I saw it and looked at it, I knew I had to play it on the channel. I don't know how long it is. It is a free play free game, so... I'm assuming it won't be too long, but then I said that about 12 hours to die as well. and We all knew how that turned out. That was quite <laughs> that turned out to be quite long, didn't it? Anyway, I think it's even fully voice acted. I'm not 100% on that, but... Let's just jump in and see what we're getting ourselves into, shall we? Character select. Ah, character select. Well, let's start with Mariner, seeing she's, a, she's on the top. Spooky. The following is a work of fiction. Name characters, places, and events are used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. Results may vary. This video game contains flashing images that some may find disturbing. If you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, consult a doctor before playing Oh man. You know what it's saying. The epilepsy warning. Broken silence. I like it. I like the style already. There's a lot of work gone into this. A lot of work. Oh, it's going to be spooky, yeah. <laughs> Fully voice acted. Pretty cool. I get to relax. <laughs> what the hell is this place? It's a fern, I believe. to adjust the volume settings there. Who's there? Just a little bit. Stay back. Get away, I'm warning you. You stay the hell back. Oh god. What? Alright, alright, just give me a second. I'm gonna adjust hey, the hold on. Stop. Adjust the audio just a little bit. I'll be right back. Actually you can stay. You can stay, there's no reason. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. Send the volume, send the music down, and the sound effects down. Volume's high. That means I can just bring everything up to match. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, changes will not be safe. My oh, God damn. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have brought you along. <laughs> not, not that I'm blaming you. You know, I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Put that weapon down. All right, there, there was better. Let's crank it a little. Get away from me! Where am I? Tell me now! It looks like a cop, so... Cop land? How should I know? I just woke up in here. That Better animation! Did you see that animation? Stay back! Before I hurt you. No, I'm not! Calm down! Jeez! Just calm down. Crazy! Like I said, I don't know. I was passed out and then I woke up. I'm looking for the exit too. 
How do we get out of here? Good question. Hell if I know. It looks like someone's basement. Are you a cop? If I kidnap cops, we're in trouble. Get out of here standing around. Let's just look around. Yeah, let's. I hit my head on that staircase when I woke up. I think that should be our way out. Fine. Let's just get out of here. Inventory puzzles, perhaps? I'm feeling an inventory puzzle coming on. My LucasArts sensors are tingling. There's a light switch right here. Let me turn that on. There. Alright. No more sitting in the dark. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing? Nothing? What is your name? Mariner. Why? I... N uh, I N A. Alright. What is your work address and phone number? What? What is your work address and... What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No ma'am. Just following police protocol. This is now an investigation and I'm simply collecting... We didn't have time for this bullshit. Can't you see we're locked in someone's basement? What is your age and home address? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Give me that damn notepad. Ah. Hey, don't. Give that back. You can have it back when we get out of here. Fine. Alright, so we actually are like inventory puzzling. Ooh. Interesting. What is this? Oh my god. A knife. How would that be here? This is psychotic. Here. Let me pull it out. Huh. There. Might come in handy. Are you arming me? Knife blade, ad knife blade added to inventory. Hmm. The newspaper article. What's it say? Mariner? This... Oh god. Mariner? Are you okay? This is horrible. The Phantom... I can't read this. That's okay. You don't have to. Just ignore it. Let's just keep going. I am back with you. Phantom Killer breaks silence. Added to the archives. Newspaper article. Why would someone hang this on a corkboard? Some sort of conspiracy theory? No, it's a story. About? A mother and daughter found in the same casket. God. It's horrible. Apparently it was another murder by the Phantom. That'll be something in his style. I was never, I was never assigned to a case or anything directly related to the Phantom. But I've been told by others, in the force, about the horrors that they've had to deal with. Mariner? Are you crying? No. Let's get going. Don't worry. We'll get out of here. I promise. Mother and daughter found dead in same casket. Cool. A mother a, a mother a newspaper article. What's the headline? Phantom silences news writer. Huh. That's a weird headline. I wonder if Buddy found crucified. Oh Jesus. Police were immediately called to the scene. They found the charred remains of a person crucified to an iron cross. Sounds like the Phantom, alright? Twisted beyond belief. We need to hurry. Get out of here. Right. Let's get moving. Look, I can't help it. I need to pick up all the things. I have to. <laughs> the newspaper article looks pretty old. What's it say? Chairman Ferry. Body found. Work of the... Phantom Killer. It really says that. Operations at the Moore construction site ceased after police recovered the body of city chairman Jack Ferry from a large concrete slab. What the hell? 
He's ruthless. I'm quite familiar with the stories. Come on. Just leave the article here. We don't need to read any more. No. This might be some clue to a way out of here. If you say so, we'll hold on to it. Alright, no more corpse writing to do deal with. How do I... Oh, I see. So you just click and hold. Interesting. Oh, wow. Can I have this bar? This looks good. Hey. There's that metal bar I almost beat you with. Yeah. What a great time to reminisce about. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault you crept out from under the stairs. You look really suspicious. How was I supposed to know you were there? I'd just woken up. Whatever. We'll leave it there for now. I don't want to lug that heavy thing around. That's a good idea. Are you sure? What if we need it? Man, there's so many puzzles to do here. Hmm. Look at this. Hmm. Is it some sort of notice? Maybe about the candles? No. It's a picture of some candles. Some are lit and some are blown out. That's weird. What would be the point of that? Maybe it correlates to the candles on this votive rack. Huh. Let's hold on to it. Can I look at that again? The heart pattern one. How do I look at my archive? Menu? Archive. Candle pattern, phantom heart. Right. Uh, third one and fifth one. On the heart one. Let's uh, adjust that, shall we? Mesmerizing. What? The flames. Mesmerizing. Oh. The flames. Right. Something so peaceful in such a dark place. It makes me wonder why they're here. Some of them are blown out. True. It seems like they were purposefully blown out. As if to form some sort of pattern. You really think so? Maybe. And we might have to light them in a specific pattern as well. It's a stretch, but we might as well. Well, we know what we need to do. We need something to light these candles. I don't want to light it, I want to put it out. I need to put the candle out, not light the bloody thing. Huh? <gasps> Damn, it's locked. What's back there? What the hell is this hole in the wall? It's like a small cave. It is suspicious. But it looks like we can fit in there. Ugh, no. I'm not going in there. Come on, we have to explore every nook and cranny. It might be our way out. I sincerely doubt it. You never know. Fine. You go first. Why? I'm not going to have you stare at my ass the whole way. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Are you, does that just prove that you were going to stare at my ass? But wouldn't you be looking at my butt the whole time? Move it. Whoa. There. We made it. Oh. No dirt on my skirt and sweater. You'll live. Whatever. <laughs> what is this? A wooden handle. Covered in blood. Should we pick it up? We have no choice. Anything to help us get out of here. Good. Is that for the knife? David, Lily, and Jack. Oh, they're the people in Grace. They must be the people in the in the newspaper articles. A wooden casket. Mm. Jack. Jack Fury. I think I've seen that name somewhere. Let's get it open. What? You can't do that. You're desecrating Jack's place of rest. I said open it, not play with the corpse. If you say so. What? It's empty. No body. But something else inside. Let's check it out. A two. Number two. I doubt that was originally there. You usually don't see something like that in a coffin. It also looks painted on. So it must have been added later. So Jack was number two? Hmm, Lily. Maybe it's Lily's coffin. Who's Lily? The mother or the daughter. I thought I saw that name somewhere. It sounds familiar. Doesn't matter right now. Let's get this open. Aren't you afraid there's a body in there? Yes. 
But I'm more afraid of what will happen to us if we don't get out of here. Fair enough. Seven. There. That came off easily. That's suspicious. I wonder if these were real coffins or not. It's a seven. No word I've ever heard of. V. Maybe it's German. It's not a word, you nitwit. V-I-I. -I, Roman numeral for seven. Ah. Okay. How'd I get it? How the hell did you get in the police force? <laughs> Must have some significance. It's something we aren't getting. Come on. Let's keep looking around. Alright, David, you're up. David. You knew him? No? How the hell would I know who David is? Tough break for David. To have your body in this godforsaken place? What body? How do you know there's one in there? I guess I don't. But I can't imagine what else would be in there. I mean, we've had two already that haven't had bodies, so... This place makes me think otherwise. Only one way to find out. David is number nine. Good old number nine. Phew. What a relief. I should write these down. Ah. Anyway, carry it. Uh, put it on auto. Nobody. Guess I'm also glad there's nobody. You don't sound like it. David's nine, Lily's seven, and Jack is two. Maybe it's the order in which he murdered them? Something like that. Grace. Hit me. Grace. What a bizarre thing to write on a coffin. It's a name. Yeah. A coffin would make you think the opposite of Grace. Maybe it's saying there's Grace and Death. A macabre beauty to the end of life. Um, I don't think praising death is the best move right now. Right. Let's get this thing open. Right. Three. Nothing in here. I'm relieved. But what's that written on the inside? It's a three. Come on, you nitwit. Alright, is there anything else in here? quite dark, isn't it? Alright, let's head out. Those are going to be the solutions to some kind of puzzle. Book? Bo uh, box? Hey, there's nothing in here. Yeah, there was nothing when I checked earlier. Why did you tell me? It didn't, didn't seem like something worth mentioning. It's just a box. Yes, thank you for that. Alright, what about this box? Uh, What's the matter? This box is full of cobwebs. You're afraid of spiders? No. I... I'm just not fond of them. Let's just leave that box be. It doesn't look useful. If you say so. This toolbox looks useful. Can we get something in that? Look at this toolbox. Something to light candles with? Yep. It's a toolbox, alright. Open it. Uh... Why can't you? It might be a trap. Well, what if it is a trap? That's why you're opening it. Gee. Thanks a lot. You're a cop. Come on, man. Okay. Here goes. Hey. What? There's a screw in here. That's it? Yep. Well, that's not going to help us. <sighs> Whatever. Give it to you. Here you go. Thumb screw at his inventory. Perfect. What is this? A bunch of wires. Those might help us get out of here. How do you figure? They're fucking wires. I don't know. I said they might. Well then. You can hold on to them. Ugh. Fine. Electrical wires added to inventory. Nice. Anything we add to the inventory is helping. One way or another. That one's got a number lock on it. What about these? Need a screwdriver, I guess. I don't think you can... Just pull it off. Damn. It won't come off. I see those screws holding the front panel. Maybe we can unscrew them? With what? Can you use your nails? Can you use your nails? 
don't have any nails. And neither do I. We'll come back to it later. Maybe we'll find something handy, like a screwdriver. There was a toolbox, but it didn't have a screwdriver in it. What is this? Look at this paper. Oh shit, yeah! I'll write that down too, it's that shape, it's like a tent or something. And we got one, um, five and six. One, five, this looks familiar. Another paper with candles on it. The only candles in here are on that stand over there. That's our best bet. I can't... I can't put anything out at this stage. I have no anti-candle device. Ooh, hello. Let's open this. Let's see. Look, a book of matches. Can I put candles out with it? <laughs> they look handy. We're not trying to start a barbecue in here. <laughs> well, maybe there's something else in this room we can light. I wonder why this book's stuck in here. Yeah, it should be on the shelf with the other books, right? That's what I was thinking. Given the state of everything else in here, I'd say whoever uses this stuff is a messy person. So why is it here? Whatever's inside the book must be important. Let's take a look at it, even if it isn't. Alchemy of the Heart 3. Light. Added to the archives. Enough of that. Can we open this one? Closed. Let's open this. Let's see, is that a handle? What the hell is this? A metal bar? Don't get any ideas. <laughs> I'm not! But I'll hold on to it. Might be useful for something. Long metal fragment. Enough of that. Closed. Man, so many things are interactable, it's insane. Can I take this, this tack like sticks out, can I have that? No. Well, at least I, at least I ask, right? Oh, books. Two stacks of books. They all seem useless. I'd have to agree. Okay. I'll trust you on this one. Pharmaceutical chemistry. Inorganic chemistry. Come on, there has to be something here. What exactly are you looking for? Anything! Our kidnapper is some psycho genius. So maybe there's a key hidden in here. Or a book that's a lever that turns a hidden wall? Perhaps. But it doesn't look like this section has anything of that sort. Maybe the other sections won't. We got this. What's this? Hmm. I need more paper. Anything interesting? I'm using post-it notes. <laughs> They're very small. <laughs> Maybe something about the plants? No. It's talking about fire. Huh? Not what I've guessed. I'll hold on to it. We may need it later. Fire can be useful. Alchemy of the Heart 1. Fire. Interesting. Whoa. These plants are glowing. They're blood ferns. Or at least, that's what the note I read said. What note? I saw a note lying on the ground. I picked it up while you were occupied. And you didn't mention this? You seem busy. They get their name from their colour. And according to Legion, they're supposed to heal people. Heal people? Like what? Sickness, wounds, death? And said this thing heals everything. But at a cost. Cost? Yeah. The notes stopped making sense after that part. I couldn't understand what was written. But it seemed like something dangerous. We should be careful. Noted. Hey, this book has a paper inside it. Books tend to have paper in <laughs> Thanks, smart ass. No, a loose paper. Ah, it's the heart. Alright, write that down. Man, my heart's not good. Two and four. A picture of some candles. What do you think it means? I'm not entirely sure. That will figure it out. Fair enough. We can order the page for now. We need two more still. Candle, pet, and heart. Ah, oh, okay. So we can look at individual shelves of the bookcase as well. Here we go. 
That blue book up there looks interesting. Grab it for me. Sure thing, short stuff. I'm not short. I'm average height. This bookcase is way too tall. Whatever you say. Here's the book. Hmm. This book isn't as interesting as I thought. No harm in checking it out. Even if it ends up being a dud. Alchemy of the Heart 2. Frost. This has to be something to do with the, um, the Roman numerals on the coffins, right? Because these also have Roman, Roman numerals on them. Can you even see the books up here? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm average height for your information. I believe you, but does that mean you can read them? Just tell me what's up there. Let's see. Word of Botany, an introduction. Botany, 7th edition. Practical Botany. Okay, okay, I get it. Books about plants and shit. <laughs> Guess they're not too useful right now. <laughs> books about plants and shit. <laughs> My favourite. These books aren't even in English. I wonder if someone's actually reading read them. Well, we sure can't. Right? Oh, yes, correct. I only speak English. Are you sure? Sounds like you might be hiding something. Aha! Whoa! What is it? You okay? Yes. Calm down. Oh. What was it? A piece of paper fell out of this book. Yes! Oh, this is different. Not sure what it means. That's that bar thing we had. Oh, we need to make this. We need the bar and then we need that piece of wood and the hooks and all that. We need to make the heart. Not sure what it means. Assemblage of the key. That's a key. How to construct a key. Let's hold on to that page. No point writing that one down, but... Definitely going to be useful, I reckon. Now, what else do we need to look at? Can we check this particular fern out? What the hell is this plant? That's an eerie glow. It's a blood fern, according to the note, I think. Where's this note? Oh, uh... I lost it. A blood fern? What are you doing? You're picking one? It might come in handy. I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't trust it either, actually. First time so far, I'm on that cop guy's side. That's where the key goes. Uh, let me just have a look at our archive real quick. Because we've got quite a few things now. So, one is fire. Oh, hang on. What we need also is that heart one. Phantom heart. I didn't write this one down with the others. Uh, cross, cross, all like that. And that's uh, three and five. Okay. So we've got three of those, we need two more. Uh, we have fire, frost, and light. One, two, and three. Let's read them. I don't know what they are, but let's read them. The fire in people's hearts. The birth of the heart begins in fire. For one cannot exist without the other. A wing beat of the phoenix breathes life into promising embers. The blood of rebirth inspires unbound creation. Rage, anger, frustration, love, passion all arise from new vitality. The darkest nothingness of the heart has been triumphed by the will of the heart. Fire is brought to darkness, illuminating the new world. Very nice. Doesn't help, but very nice. There's audio things too, apparently. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what else we need to click on. This thing? Hmm. This tapestry feels hollow behind it. Like we could get through it if... Man, everything's a thing here. It's amazing. Carl? What is it? The symbol. I recognize it. That's definitely the phantom. What? Uh, are you sure? It's hard to forget a symbol like that. The phantom? You've heard of him, right? Serial killer? Never caught? Yeah, I've heard about his killing spree, but it's old news. The last time he was in the headlines was like eight years ago. He could be a geriatric now for all we know. This is bad. If we were kidnapped by who I think it was. We can't just stand around. We need to get out of here. Alright. Let's hurry. Didn't she say it was hollow behind it? 
cloth tapestry. It feels hollow on the other side. Going to Cal, it bears the phantom symbol. If it's hollow on the other side, move it. No? Alright, I guess I can't. If it was hollow, I'd just move it. Cobweb. Spiderweb. Is there a spider? Where? Get away. Jeez, calm down. There's no spider. I was just pointing out the spider web up there. Fine. Whatever. Well then. Light switch? I turned the lights on. Why did you do that? Why not? Because you can't see anything. What's that then? Through red eyes, escape is possible. The fern. Wait. Can I turn this off? This lamp looks out of place. Oh, there's the candle thing. I don't see why. It doesn't have a cord. How's it getting power? Well, there's a battery cover on its underside. Well, that... It's still weird. I wonder if it has any leads. Maybe a better way out of here. Or maybe bit our captive. It's the cross. Uh, two, three, and six. No. Neither. Candles? That's... odd. Whatever. We can hold on to it. But let's keep looking around. We're only missing one candle pattern now. Through red eyes, they said. What is this? This book's propped up on this desk. Maybe it was recently used? Let's take a look at it. Sure. I'm curious what's inside. The Scarlet Fern. Ooh, we should probably read that. Let's read that now. Text. One day in the early morning, death appeared in a flash of haze before a woman wandering in the forest. He presented to her a red fern, born of fire and blood birthed from the cinders of hell, harvested by and stolen from an angel. The woman looked on at the fern with bewitchment. Drawn to its crimson luster, death promised the fern would give us, give unto its holder bountiful health and vigour. The woman accepted death's present, and though he wanted nothing in return, death handed her the fern and wandered away. When she returned home, she paid little attention to the fern. A plague had broken out and haunted the village she lived in. Many people in the area died. But as time passed, the plague worsened. Her mother died, her children died, and all her other friends and family. Everyone she knew succumbed to the plague. She was the only one who survived. She believed that the leaf was cursed and it caused the plague. She sought to return the leaf to death. She returned to the same forest where she received the fern. Soon after, death appeared again in a flash of haze. She damned death and the fern for causing her misery. Death retorted that the fern did all that she said it would. That he said it would. He agreed to the woman's wishes and stole the fern away. The woman fell to the ground. Death wandered away. It doesn't help us. It's very interesting though. So the writer is David? David Fryer. Yep. And the mother and daughter are going to be Grace and Lily. Okay, so Lily's the mother, Grace is the daughter. Good to know. Maybe it's in the order that they were killed in, so... This one was um, August... So David was August... Uh, 1987. Uh, mother and daughter... Say which one? The body of the letter containing a chilling message. Mother and daughter always together. Birth to the to grave. Grace Harrington, March second, nineteen sixty-five to May thirteenth, nineteen eighty-four. Grace, thirteenth of May, nineteen eighty-four.
What? Hang on, we need to read that again. Earlier today, VM police examined the body of recently deceased Shay Harrington of Val Mont Monte Monte City to find her daughter, Grace, dead from asphyxiation in the same casket. Investigation was undertaken by police after receiving a tip by a letter from the enigmatic phantom killer who made headlines earlier this year after the murder of Michelle Park in Arthur City. VMPD has released the contents of the tip letter in the hopes that it will produce leads from the public to the phantom. The body of the letter containing a chilling message, mother and child, always together. Birth to grave, Grace Harrington, March 2nd, 1965 to May 13th, 1984. Police were unable to gather any evidence from the letter or crime scene that would point to the killer. The only witness to a suspect in the cemetery that evening was a lo was local Patricia Nunez, who happened to be collecting photographs for an art project that night. The single photo captured of the believed phantom reveals a ghastly caped spectre in all white rummaging among the tombstones. A clear look at the face cannot be made, but it is believed that the phantom was wearing a mask, though poorly shot and out of focus due to the haste of, of taking the photo. BMPD has put out a statement that they're looking for a suspect around 6 foot tall and a medium build, believed to be a male in his 20s to 50s. Anyone with information is urged to contact Val Monte City Police. Okay. The cemetery has been closed since the investigation. Grace was 19 years old, returning home from university for Mother's Day to pay respects to her mother, who she lost two years ago to pancreatic cancer. Okay, so that means Lily died in 1982. Right? Interesting. So he didn't actually kill uh, Lily then. He killed Grace, but not Lily. Alright, what do we got here? June 5th, 1981. So if it's like Order of Killings, which I suspect it is, Order of deaths, rather, because he didn't kill her. He didn't kill, um, Lily. I've turned the lights back on. Much better. We need to wrap this one up as well, but, uh, I really want to get a little bit further. So, if it is in that, if it's like that, then it's, it should go Jack, which is, uh, two. Let's check the lock out. Let's see if we can get it open. Two. And then it would be Lily, which was seven. Then it would be... Is that one, 1987? So Grace, which is three. And then David, which is nine. Damn, it's no good. Maybe it's the other way around. This is August 1987, right? Let me just look at the archives real quick again for David. My writing's so bad I can't even read my own, <laughs> my own writing. 1987, yeah. Interesting. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's uh, 9372. Let's try that. Nope. Alright. Well. We need to wrap this one up here. Huh. That's tough. Damn. What the hell could the combination be? No magic numbers come to mind. We'll have to keep searching. Keep our eyes open for something that tells us the combination. My eyes are peeled. Good, good. Well, alright, we're going to wrap this one up here because we're out of time for today, but I'm very invested already. Uh, I'm... The amount of work they put into it is absolutely fucking insane. Considering it's free on itch.io as well. Shit a brick. Well anyway, we will be back tomorrow with more, uh... With more broken silence because... I'm already, uh, already all, all on board. Curious how about how the other vision is if it doesn't have any of this in it. So it's just pure visual novel, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out and I'll see you in the next one.